Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope for April 2022. So <clears throat> on the 6th of the month you do have Venus going to your 4th house. So the 4th house is about your home and family. And um, Venus going in that house can be, um, you want to spend more time with your family. Um, you could be that, you know, expecting um, new things. You might do something better with the home, make up some improvements. Um, you could sell your home because Venus has a money aspect as well. Then on the 11th, you've got Mercury going into your 6th house. So this could be House of Health. Or this is your House of Health. So Mercury, you know, you could be thinking about, um, you know, about your, about, you know, your health or, you know, wanting to maybe change your diet, change your, the way that you're, that you're living. And then on the 12th of the month, you've got... Jupiter Neptune conjunction in your fourth house. I will go more into one to this in a, another video when it's leading up to it. The um, it's just it's hard to see what's going to happen in individual houses because you got Jupiter, which is a luck, coming together with Neptune, which I see it as a dissolve. Um, it can be a bit foggy, so it, you know, it can be delusion. But um, so it's got two different energies coming together. So it, it just see how that energy is going to work out with you, but. Um, yeah, but maybe, you know, maybe a family member is going to uh, move away, but it's a good thing. So because Jupiter is good, it's, it's luck. So you just have to see how that works out. Then the 16th, you got Mars going to that fourth house, which is a, it could be a strength because Mars can be, can be a strength or it can be arguments and um, fighting as or frustration as well. So it could be either. And then you got on the 30th of April, Mercury is going to go to your seventh house, such as a house of relationships. That can be, um, you know, you're thinking about maybe um, the relationship that you're in. You could be doing some online communication um, with a loved one, like long distance relationships, perhaps as well with that. Now, when we go to the card, Sagittarius. Uh, it, look, I feel like something's coming back to you. I feel like this month, something is like there's a healing aspect this month. Um, like it's like trying to heal everything or heal the world and you're being more intuitive this month as well and i feel like um this is all leading up to relationships that are coming up but it's like something's something's coming back um it could be to to relationships it's like you're yeah it's like this could be maybe someone's coming back from the past could be coming back into your life um could be you um being sure like you're blossoming up you're, you're evolving you're blossoming you're coming into your own you're standing strong um in your emotions in your feelings and where you're wanting to go this month but yeah i feel like someone maybe from the past could be coming back into your life and then with um it could be it could be a friendship as well like a long distance friendship could be coming back perhaps as, as well into your life i just feel like slow and steady wins the race as well you're definitely evolving and there's things that's going on changing when it comes into your work or your earnings so it's like there's a big change transformation coming through but at the same time i feel like you feel like you're kind of worn out like you're kind of feeling betrayed a bit like you're tired um you're just wanting some sort of like relief but you've got that strength in you to you know change your, your going through this transformation this change there at work and it's got the earnings um we're going to go to family there is some sort of ce celebration with family as well um there could be some like um uh, it's like you need your emotions need to be harder to do with your siblings like you need to maybe stand up to them or your emotions need to sort of maybe hold your emotions in a bit more with them but i do feel like there's some sort of like cheery celebration um maybe a house move or i said like changes to the home but i feel like there's something positive coming up for family let's look at your money and i feel like money it's a good month for money i don't see you doing a lot of spending it's more like you're trying to hold your money in and not spend it this month and it's i do feel like you're wanting to get the, like the travel bug or you want to travel you're wanting to stay um 
if you just want to go and fly or you want to go somewhere um, like you're changing your destination like you want to you're just excited to, to travel and be free uh, coming into this month as well the Sagittarians so I was saying just be careful because I feel like you could fall into a trap of delusion this month a little bit I do have a sense of that like you've got an inner knowing and a, like I said, a spiritual awakening that's happening with you but it's like um, you just don't want to drown in a delusion that you could be going on this month as well just be careful of that okay <clears throat> let's see what have, we, <clears throat> what have we got for you guys um Sagittarians, this is your month to bloom, your month to soar, your month to fly high. It is a month where you're not going to be held down or you're going to be made accountable for the mistakes that you have done. But this is not a bad thing. Do not freak out and do not feel concerned for what is going to happen is going to be for your own good. You're going to be free and you're going to soar like the wind where you can go and do what you want to do and as you please. I am doing my radio, weekly radio show, which is on A1R Psychic Radio. So it is on at 2 p.m. Sydney, Australia time or 11 p.m. in New York. And I am going to go to Brisbane next month as well. Um, <clears throat> and that's for the MBS Festival. So I want to wish you a happy Easter. And I hope you um, yeah, have a joyous Easter coming up in, in April. And that's it. And I will see you for my next video. So thank you for sharing your likes and your comments and I will see you for your next video. Okay, bye for now.